well, welcome back to my channel and to today's video. Um, got another haul for you, and today this haul was completely free. Um, I went home recently. I don't know if you'll see this first or my charity shop haul. Um, but if you've seen a charity shop haul, then you'll know that I was back in York. And whilst I was at home, um, my dad turned to me and said, Jack, I've had a clear out. Um, see if there's anything that you want to sell and if not the rest can go to charity so there was a chunk that went to charity and i've brought the rest back with me so i thought i'd show you what i've got excuse any mess that you can see da -da -da -da. um i've literally got back half an hour ago so everything is everywhere but i wanted to get this filmed before i start putting things away so this in here is everything that I've brought back with me. So I will crack on and show you what I've got. Um, some of it's bread and butter, some of it's a bit nicer. Um, there's quite a few pieces from Ralph Lauren that um, he bought when I worked there because I got my staff discount, um, but he no longer wears. So I'll show you. The first thing that we have is this indigo blue shirt. It's like um, a chevron woven fabric. It's from Superdry. It's a size XL. It's got a granddad collar. Um, so that's probably 12 to 15. I know Superdry isn't hugely popular anymore, but it's a nice shirt and it's an XL, so hopefully it will sell. Uh, first piece of Ralph Lauren. It is a pink Oxford shirt, classic Oxford shirt, with the detailed pony logo on it. This is a size large and it's the slim fit stretch Oxford. These sell really well, they're a very popular shirt and I'm hoping that I can get about £30 for it. We then have a shirt from Thomas Pink. It is this checked shirt, blue and pink check. Um, this is a 16 and a half inch collar. Um, so it's more of a formal shirt and it is a slim fit. Um, no idea what Thomas Pink sells for these days. I've sold some Thomas Pink previously. Um, I know it's not the cheapest, but I don't imagine it to be the highest, um, like most valuable shirt that I am selling. Um, but it's worth a try. Now this one is a brand I've never heard of, um, Boston Crew. So I brought it back just to see if it's worthwhile. So I'm going to do my research on it, and if it's not, I'll just donate it. That's fine. It's a size large. And it is just this blue, red and white striped shirt. Um, yeah, no idea if that's worth anything. We then have a shirt that I bought originally to resell and then offered it to my dad and he's he took it, wore it for a while and is now giving me it back. It is this blue linen shirt. It's pure linen from m and um, These shirts do sell quite well. Um, I'm going to put this away in time for spring, summer next year. It's a size extra large, so it's a nice size. So that's come full circle from me buying it to resell, to my dad wearing it, to it coming back to me to eventually resell it. Um, I'm stood in front of my bedroom window, my neighbour's out in the garden with his dog. So I'm just going to pause for two minutes whilst he goes. So the final shirt I have to show you is another blue linen shirt. This one is one that my dad bought on holiday in Greece. Um, he chose to go for a 3XL. My dad is not a 3XL, but as you can see here, it is Greek Island Breeze is the label in it. Um, it would have come from one of the shops on the strip, um, but it is 100% linen um, in the materials label. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, yeah, I don't know how much it's worth, but because it's 100% linen, I brought it back with me. It's obviously not a proper brand, you know, a high street brand that anyone would recognise, but it's linen. So again, that'll get put away for spring. Um, then on to jumpers. Um, my dad moved jobs a couple of years ago and now works from home predominantly. So these jumpers that he bought were for his previous job when he um, was sort of out and about dealing with clients more. So he bought some smarter stuff, um, but he just doesn't wear them. So... Here we are, the first one is a sort of rusty coloured um, crew neck jumper. This is from m and it is the extra fine lambswool in a size large. 
So it's in perfect condition. I think he's only worn it a couple of times. Um, hopefully 15 to 20 for that. Not hugely experienced in MLS knitwear because it's not something I tend to pick up, but because it was free, thought it was worthwhile. And then sort of same again, but this one's a V-neck in this sort of really dark petrol green colour. The light is skewing the colour. It looks very grey on camera. I can assure you it's not. It's green. Um, but yeah, size large. Let's see what colour M&S call it, because they do put the colours on all the labels. Um, forest green is what they've called it. So yeah, the light's throwing it off, but it's uh, it's like a, a deep petroly foresty green. Then, these two items are the ones that I am most excited about. Um, if they were a smaller size, I would keep them for myself because I want some. But they, I've not tried one, but I know it'll be too big for me. And they are Ralph Lauren quarter zip jumpers. So this first one is in a really nice dusty blue colour. Um, so it's got the quarter zip there with a leather zip tab. Little blue pony. And it's a size large. These are 100% cotton and these are really saleable. This has come at a perfect time as we are now in autumn. Um, I'm going to probably aim for closer to 50, which is high, I know. But to buy these now, um, it's over, I think, over 120, 140 quid. Um, so I'm going to aim high and take offers. And if I need to reduce them, I can do. It's only the very start of autumn. We've got autumn and winter to go. So I'm going to aim high and see what happens. And then the same again in this really nice olive green colour with a purple pony on it. Again, size large. 100% cotton and they're both in immaculate condition so yeah really excited to see what I can get for those and obviously very grateful to my dad that he's letting me just sell these and wants nothing in return he is a very generous man I must admit we then have another elf jumper this one um less popular I would say orange and navy striped um but it's a size medium it's just too small for him and this one is super, super soft. It is 100% wool. Um, it's a really nice quality jumper. And again, it's barely been worn. Um, but yeah, how popular it will be, I don't know. We then have another piece of super dry. Um, it's a super dry sweatshirt. Um, you know, this sort of graphic logo on the front of it. Um, again, I'm not sure. How pop, like how quickly it will sell because I know Super Dry is not particularly popular, but it's a nice top. Um, I've just noticed that it does have a mark over here, so I'll chuck it through the wash and see if that comes out. And if it doesn't, then it will just get donated to charity. Um, again, it's barely been worn because you know when you wash sweatshirts and the fluffy material inside kind of shrivels and isn't soft anymore. This is still super soft, so I think he must have only worn it a couple of times. Um, and I remember buying this with him probably six or seven years ago. The thing with my dad is he buys these jumpers, but he is the warmest person I know. He is always too hot. Even currently on a night, he's turned the bedroom radiator off because it's too hot for him. Um, whereas my mum is cold. <laughs> so anyway, that's why he's been getting rid of quite a few jumpers. Then we have another piece of Boston Crew. This is like a funnel neck it's like they call it a quarter zip with buttons um and it's in this really nice hard wearing um thick cotton it's kind of ribbed as you can see um that's a size large again no idea the value of boston crew but um i think that regardless the style of that will sell it because um people of my age um very much like this style of jumper at the moment it's very popular so we will see. You get a lot of the office people in London with their, you know, they'll have like smart shoes, navy trousers, a white shirt, and then they'll chuck a quarter zip or a button up jumper over the top of it. Um, so they are, I know they're in high demand. So even if that's not worth a lot, I think it'll sell pretty quickly. And then finally, we have trousers. So the first thing is a pair of Crag Hoppers walking trousers, just in this sort of stony beige colour. It's kind of got a little hint of green in it. Um, I'm not sure what size it is because he's, oh wait, no, it's a 36 inch waist. So a good size, probably only 10 to 12 quid for these. 
Um, but I tend to find that walking trousers sell through pretty quickly for me, um, even like all, all year round basically. So I thought they were worth taking. Um, we then have a pair of chinos. These are also Boston Crew. Again, needs to do my research, see if it's worth any money, but just a classic pair of beige chinos. Um, and they are a 34 inch waist. I'm sure my dad won't really care that I'm telling you what sizes he's wearing. Um, <laughs> he's unlikely to watch this anyway. So um, unless he secretly watches my channel without telling me, because he never mentions anything that I post. So I'm not sure. We then have a really nice pair of moleskin trousers. I remember buying these. Um, these are a brand called Rydale. I don't know if that's if Rydale is available over the UK, but in Yorkshire it's very popular because Rydale is a part of North Yorkshire. Um, and it's like, uh, it's an outdoors brand. It's on the lower end of the price scale, not hugely expensive, but these are really nice quality thick trousers in this sort of dusky olive colour. Um, they are a 36 inch waist, 31 inch leg. Um, me and my dad both have kind of short legs. We're both like 30, 31. Um, but anyway, not sure how much they're worth, but they're in really good condition. I don't think he's barely worn these. He used to do a lot of shows. Uh, my dad works in the agriculture industry so he used to attend a lot of farming shows for different machinery and whatnot um but less so these days so i think that's why he's had a clear out we then have a pair of adidas golfing trousers i'm not sure why he bought these because my dad does not play golf um they are black and they are a 34 inch waist 32 inch leg um probably not worth too much but even if i can get a tenner for them it's £10 that I didn't have before, um, and this is all absolutely free, so worth it, isn't it? Um, we then have a couple of pairs of Marks and Spencer trousers. These are vintage ones, and I don't know if my granddad gave him these, because my granddad's lost a lot of weight. Um, I know he passed some of his clothes down to my dad. Um, and these are just M&S trousers, 36-inch waist, 31-inch leg. Um, it, these ones are black or navy navy it looks like the light is difficult in the uh, difficult in the light to tell or are they black genuinely borderline either um not sure that they're even worth anything but um they're quite nice they're in really good condition they've got a little turn up at the bottom and again if they're not worth anything i can just donate them it's not an issue but i thought it was worth chucking them in um this pair I sent Michael, so this makes me pretty sure that they came from my granddad because I don't think my dad would have been buying trousers from MS back then when I know St. Michael was going until the 90s, wasn't it? But still, I'm pretty sure these came from my granddad. Um again, 36 inch waist, 31 inch leg. Um these are an olive green colour, very similar trousers with the turn up at the bottom. Um that's why I picked these up originally. I think I assumed the other ones were St. Michael as well, because St. Michael does seem to carry some value i know not on everything and i feel like i used to be able to sell st michael for decent money and i've not sold it in recent times so i'm not sure if it still is worth it or not but we'll have a look and see and if not they'll just get donated final item is a pair of moleskin trousers these ones are from MS. really beautiful quality brown trousers it's so soft you can see it's kind of like a microfiber um material and it is Nova Fide woven in Italy fabric, but from m &S. Um, you can see there. And these are 36 29 Like I say, me and my dad have short legs. So I think these will be worth something because they are, um, I know these weren't the cheapest when he bought them. I think they're about £60. So maybe I'll get 15 to 20 for those. That would be great. Um, but overall, I'm obviously very happy that I have a load of stuff to sell and a lot of it is jumpers that I can list immediately because it's the perfect time as the temperatures are dropping um, and see how much profit I can make from it out of zero pounds. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you what he's given me and um, we'll see how we get on with it. So thank you very much for watching. 
I feel like my channel is going to be a little bit haul heavy at the moment because um, I was sourcing anyway um, from Vinted, then the charity shop haul happened, which I don't know if you'll have seen yet, and then my dad gave me all this. So apologies if it's been haul heavy, but it's just the way things are at the moment. It's just how life's gone. Um, but yes, again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all again soon with my next upload. Thank you.